How to use Ledger Account Alias for more efficient data entry in Dynamics AX 2012 R2. The key question to be answered in this technical video is, is it possible to specify a main account financial dimension combination without having to input values in each segment each time? The answer to that question, which we'll explain in this technical video, is that with Ledger Account Aliases, you're allowed to link common main account financial dimension combinations together for ease of data entry. In this demo, I'll provide an example of how to create a ledger account alias that links a main account and a financial dimension combination together. And I'll also demo how to use that ledger account alias within the context of a transaction. In this example, I'm logged into a company called USMF, and I want to create a ledger account alias called Trade Show Expenses that links a miscellaneous expense account with a combination of financial dimensions of business unit, department, cost center, and item group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to General Ledger, Setup, Chart of Accounts, Ledger Account Alias. In the Ledger Account Alias form, I'm going to click the New button, and I have to tell it what do I want my Ledger Account Alias to be called. This is key because this is what you're going to be able to actually type in transactionally as opposed to specifying the whole combination string. So in this case, I'm going to create a Ledger Account Alias called Trade Show EXP. In the Type field, you can make this Ledger Account Alias to be a global alias, or you can set it to be specific to a certain group of users, or only to a certain user. In this case, I'm just going to have it be shared. In the account structure field, you have to select the account structure um, that contains those financial dimensions that you want to relate together uh, tied to the alias. So in this case, I know that my profit and loss accounts that are mapped to the USMF company are set up in this account structure called manufacturing PL. So I'm going to select that. In the company field, I need to select which company I want the ledger account alias to be assigned against. In this case, I'm going to select USMF. In the ledger account alias definition field, this is where I'm going to define that main account financial dimension combination string. So in my case, my main account, my miscellaneous expense account that I want to create that alias off of is 618-900. The business unit is 001, the department is 022, the cost center is 007, and the item group is audio. So in the ledger account alias definition field, I just created that overall string that I want to call trade show expense. In the initial focus field, this is just where you want the cursor to default as you start entering transaction to be able to cross-reference whether or not a ledger account alias exists. In most scenarios, you would select the trade the main account as the initial focus. In this example, for my trade show expense ledger account alias that I created, I'm going to map it to main account. I've now created the ledger account alias, so I'm going to close the ledger account alias form. Now. I can use that ledger account alias within the context of a transaction. In this case, I'm going to enter a general ledger journal. So I'm going to go to general ledger journals, general journal. In the general journal form, I'm going to click the new button and select a journal name that I have, followed by clicking the lines button to open the journal voucher form. In the journal voucher form, I can see in the account field, I would naturally see where I would normally select my main account and the whole financial dimension combination string that I want to enter a transaction for. In this case, I'm going to actually select my ledger account alias called Trade Show Expense and tab off my keyboard. When I tab off my keyboard, you can see that the financial dimension combination that I tied to my ledger account alias called Trade Show Expense pasted that dimension combination into the account number field for me so that I don't have to actually select each individual segment within the string. In conclusion, as you can see, the ledger account alias is a, is a simple but powerful piece of functionality that allows you to be more efficient in your data entry processes by specifying a dimension combination together which can be used as a shortcut in a transaction in Dynamics AX 2012 R2.